Hi, I'm Sunny and welcome to the Red Society. So today's video is the booktube newbie tag but just before we get into the question I'm just gonna quickly introduce what the Will Red Society is. I am one of two so I'm Sunny and the other host is Sumaya and she will be posting a video next week. And so we started off as a book club and book community on Instagram which consists of diversifying the books that we read, the authors that we read, just promoting diversity and inclusivity in the book word so i am doing this video this week and sumaya will be doing the booktube newbie tag next week so yeah i just thought i'd let you know that and now we can get into the questions we've been loving absolutely loving creating content on instagram but it can be quite limiting because it's pictures you can do videos but you cannot be as creative they have to be one minute or you have to upload them to igtv which is not as fun as YouTube and not as active as YouTube and I don't know we just want to diversify our content we want to make vlogs we want to make longer reviews and we want to make content that wouldn't necessarily align 100% with our Instagram so that was from the well-read society's perspective but now from my own perspective uh, the reason why I am so excited to be starting this channel is because I do have my own channel which I've had for a few years now which is Sunny Maria but it's lifestyle videos but I started off as a booktube before I got into lifestyle videos and even though I do love the content that I make now I just miss having a space to exclusively like just geek about books to go full book nerd and this channel allows me to do that so you know range balance i have my lifestyle channel and i have this channel where i can talk about books as much as i want so this is all fun for me from both perspectives so i think the main fun and unique thing we can bring to this channel is definitely going to be the fact that there is two of us and not two of us filming in the same room at the same time together but in whole different countries especially because i think sumaya and nice personality really complete each other she is the light academia to my dark academia she is the fall and winter to my spring and summer she is the tea to my coffee it i think it will really bring a fun perspective to this channel because you will always have versatility so i think that's fun another unique thing we can bring to youtube is promoting diversity in the book world so we're definitely not the first ones to do it we don't claim that we invented this concept but it's not a common thing yet so i think we can we can consider that a unique thing um still and hopefully one day it won't be unique anymore to diversify the the books you read and read authors of color and lgbtq plus authors and disabled authors muslim authors hopefully soon it will be just normal so there's a lot of things that i'm looking forward to about this channel but one of the main things is building community because there's nothing as rewarding and satisfying as like just a bunch of people bonding over books this is i'm sorry if this sounds cheesy but this is the most wholesome thing ever you hear me the most wholesome thing ever and i am so excited for this so this is the main thing there's also other things that i'm excited about like the creativity because we keep coming up with new concepts and ideas for this channel i'm excited for hopefully some opportunities that might come with it i don't know collabing like doing maybe interviews with authors things like that that i have in mind and that hopefully as we grow are going to be possible i'm also excited to maybe inspire others to read certain books certain authors or to read on a certain subject they might not have explored if it wasn't for this channel so yeah everything is exciting about this new channel i am so ready 
Uh, I love fiction as a way to escape my real life and my trouble. So like my life could be going to shit. I can decide that it's not real and just pretend that I'm in the story that I'm reading at the moment. If I'm reading a cute YA book or if I'm reading a cheesy romance, just take a break from the madness that the word is. So this is where like cute fiction, but if I'm reading something a bit darker, a bit sadder, I feel like it really makes me think about certain subjects. It makes me more empathic. I don't know, it just shapes the person that I am in a way. So that is for fiction. And I also love nonfiction because I love learning and you can just learn so much from reading nonfiction books. Also biographies because it can be so inspiring to read someone else's life. So I wouldn't be able to tell you which book series got me into reading because I started reading from a really, really, really young age and my childhood memories are a blur, so I really don't know. But I can tell you what got me back into reading. I kind of stopped reading when I was around 12 years old. A few years later, I joined Tumblr and it was around the time where there was all this hype around John Green's books. At some point, I just got tired of seeing all this okay, okay posts and not knowing what the hype was all about. So I went to the bookstore, I picked up The Fault in Our Stars, I read it, I cried like a baby for five days straight, and then I went back to the bookstore and bought other John Green books. And then I went on Instagram to see what people were saying about John Green's books. And then I discovered this whole world of bookstagram. And from that moment on, I never looked back. So yeah, John Green got me back into reading, which is so funny because today I would never spend money on a John Green book. But back then, it was my religion, and I'm still grateful for those books because they're the ones that rekindled my love for reading and who may turn me back into the bookworm that I was destined to be. So yeah, here you go. That was my story. So I would probably ask them a shit ton of questions because I am hella nosy, I need to know everything. But from the top of my head, I would probably ask them, um, what's a book you think everyone needs to read? What are some advice you would give to a new booktuber? Who is your favorite author? Do you only want to read books or do you also want to write books? And yeah, those are the ones coming up from the top of my head. So I think there will be two main challenges. The main one being uh, originality because it is, there's a lot of booktubers out there and a lot of them creating the same content. And it's really hard to make your mark there to really make your content stand out. So yeah, I think just coming up with brand new concepts and exciting things on a platform where there are already so many people doing similar content, but I don't think it's undoable. I think it's a challenge that is absolutely possible to amount to. And another challenge I think will be, I think it will be a bit harder for us as women of color. We don't get the same recognition. We don't get the same exposure and opportunities. And, and people when they judge us are much harsher. If you dare talk about diversifying booktube and our bookshelves, some people might come on here and accuse us of forcing diversity. And yeah, I think being with two women of color might be a little bit of a challenge, but hopefully we can turn this into our strength and turn it into something positive for ourselves and for other booktubers of color. And like I said, I started reading at, the, at a really young age, so young that I really, really don't remember. I think I was about three years old. I don't want to be lying. I'm going to ask my mom and put it somewhere here on the screen. 
um, mainly on my bed and in public transports like when I'm riding the train or the bus um, so that is for physical copies but if you take into account audiobooks I actually read absolutely everywhere because I will read in my kitchen while I'm cooking or if I'm doing laundry cleaning my bedroom grocery shopping working out whatever I listen to books everywhere there's no specific place but talking about physical copies mainly on my bed and in public transport what kind of books do I like to read? Um, good books, I guess. I don't have a specific genre of books that I love. I really love anything that's gonna make me cry. I know I'm a masochist like that, but I tend to be drawn to books that will make me sob like a baby. I love Dark Academia. You can see it. I think you can just tell from the aesthetics and you can also tell from my little baby the secret history sitting there i love adult fiction that will make you stare into the void questioning your life i love mangas i started getting back into it really recently i'm starting to get into classics they're starting to grow on me i just think i wasn't reading the good ones but now that i'm reading austin and oscar wilde i'm like hmm, maybe they do have a point i love a lot of non-fiction books as well I love feminist theory, I love reading essays, I love anything that will educate me and teach me more about subjects I may not know about. As long as it's not mathematics, I'm not a math kind of gal. I love I love books, man. I don't know I don't know what to say. I just love books. So I cannot believe it's already the end of this video, but I'm so happy that we're finally launching this channel. You can subscribe and turn on the post notification to make sure you don't miss Sumaya's video next week and my video the week after that and so on and so forth. And you can also follow us on our Instagram at Society. And as I've mentioned, we're a book community, we're focused on diversity and representation in the book world. And we're also a book club, so our current book of the month is I'll Give You the Song by Jenny Nelson, which has an LGBTQ plus main character, a gay character to be more specific. And we are reading it until the end of November, so if you want to join, you can still join until the last day of November. I'll leave all the info in the description box. And yeah, that is pretty much all. Uh, Sumaya will see you next week and I uh, will see you in two weeks. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. And while I really... Uh, question of... Question of the day. Challenges.